so welcome everyone, Jacqueline Morosco here. And uh, what I want to invite you to start off doing is comfortable seat, nice and long through the spine so that you can breathe fully. And yes, I know almost always we start this way because I want you to get used to that idea of breath moving through, feeling that breath, moving through your body, connecting with your body. Okay. And so as you start to connect your breath and your body, taking a moment to notice how you feel, notice any parts of your body that might feel a little tight or that you can't even recognize them. Just notice how you're feeling. What's your energy level? Maybe, you know, like you're busy today and you know, like this is a, a nice way to start it off. And then thinking about how you wanna feel when we're done with practice today. And then once you are setting your intention, you can, you know, seal it at your heart with your hands you know, bowing the head to the heart, heart to the earth, or however you set your intention to go ahead and do that. And we're gonna, when you're ready, start with some arm movements with the breath. So after your intention is set, we're gonna release the hands down to the ground. So we're gonna inhale up, and then you're gonna take one arm forward, one arm back on the exhale, inhale up and alternate sides. And you're just moving with your breath, your body will shift a little bit and you're noticing, you know, what's happening as you're moving. One more time on each side. And then as you inhale up now, you're gonna take your left arm down, keep that right arm up and we're gonna reach over. So now it'll be inhale up and exhale over to the side. too much stuff and you're going as far as it feels good right and some of you might find like as you get over to the side that you want to stay there and reach for a little while and not move right away to the second side so please listen to your body and when you finish your second side we're going to extend the legs into a wide angle and if you find yourself with a rounded back, you might have a little blanket under your sit bones. Okay, so now hands are gonna be on the thighs. And what I want you to do is just inhale up and exhale, slide down a little bit. And keeping your hands there, you're not going to be able to go maybe as far as you normally would. And that's okay for now. Inhale up, exhale, slide down. And then we're gonna take the arms off the legs. Inhale up, exhale, slide down. So now we're going as deeply as it feels comfortable, alternating sides. Moving with your breath always. One more time on each side. Nice, now when you make your way back to the center, we're gonna bend the knees and put the feet flat on the floor and your hands are going to be in front. So now inhale upright with the body, exhale, you're gonna walk your hands and your body and your head forward, inhale, slide up, exhale, slide. And of course, you're just, how is that back feeling? This is a nice back stretch. So just noticing what's going on. And next time you sit up, you're gonna find your tennis balls. And we are going to take those tennis balls. So your knees are gonna be bent. So your butt stays on the floor and you're gonna push the tennis balls into the front of your sit bones and then straighten your legs somewhat. And we're going to Kind of gently, you're not rolling right over. If these were my sit bones down here, you're just going to kind of move the bone into the tennis ball, moving side to side, front to back, whatever feels good. <laughs> and I know that for some of you, it might not feel good at all. But this is for loosening up the hamstrings for those of you who have tight hamstrings. 
connectors that come, some of the connectors that come into the pelvis. And if you find a spot and you're like, oh, I need to stay here a little bit longer, then do that. Now from here, we're going to take those tennis balls and move them out to the sides. And again, you're not sitting right on the ball. You're pushing them in and then moving side to side into the tennis balls. And you could, you know, take some time and go right into that blue, or you can just gently move side to side. Still breathing, of course. Now, and I know that we could spend, we, I always talk about this, we could spend like the whole time just doing this, but when you're ready, you're gonna take those out. Now you're gonna lean forward, your butt's on the ground, and you're gonna push those tennis balls in just a little bit and lean back. So this works the back of the pelvis, the low back. And for some of us, this is really tender. So, you know, moving the tennis balls however you need to or getting rid of them if, it, if it's not working for you. And keep breathing. I find that starting off this way though, it gives me so much information about what's happening in my body and what it might need for the day. Now again, we're going to stop doing that whenever you're ready. And you can always continue on even when I stop doing something. We're gonna go up to your quads now. So here, you're gonna start at the knee, right? And I'm gonna bend my knee for, for this one, but you're gonna do whatever feels good. You're gonna start with the fingertips and you're gonna kind of press into your, we're going for the quad, the thigh, and you're gonna pull up towards your hip. And then you might straighten your leg. You're going to explore and see what works for you, but we're going from the knee up. Now, you might like to use the tennis ball. I like to use the hands and the fingers when I'm doing this in this way, but you're going to explore. Now, eventually, you're going to take the fingers to the inside and outside of the leg and then to the back. So we're doing the whole thigh because we couldn't just do the front, the sides, and the back. Left out. Now, when you feel good with that, you're gonna go around the knee in a circular motion. You're still breathing. And then we're gonna make our way down to the ankle and you're gonna go around the ankle and then come up the front, the sides, and the back of the calf. And I'm finding it feels better without my pant leg on there. So do what you need to do. All right, now when you feel complete with the lower leg, we're gonna do your second leg. And again, starting at the knee and making our way up the quad and giving a lot of attention to front of your thigh and then eventually moving on to the sides and the back and you're still breathing and taking in whatever information your body's giving you. When you feel done with the thigh, we're gonna go around the knee. And again, after that, around the ankle, and then up the lower leg. We haven't done this in a while. It's kind of feeling good today. All right, so. And knowing that you can be in any place with this, right? Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the foot. So you're going to reach for one foot and we're going to stretch out the toes, right? So in yoga, we use our hands and our feet differently than we do in for most of us in the rest of our life. So you're going to stretch out your toes and then you're going to massage the bottom of the foot with the thumbs and the top of the foot with the fingers or however it works for you. Keep breathing. As I remind myself. And you might notice, like, as I'm working through the bottom of my feet, I notice different spots that feel a little bit tender and that I want to spend some time in. 
And then we're going to move on to your second foot. Again, whenever you're ready, stretching out the toes. You might take them in a circle, a little tug, and massaging the bottom of the foot and the top of the foot. Still breathing. And sometimes I think it's interesting to notice the differences or the similarities in the feet and all the parts of the body. Still breathing. All right. Now, again, when you start to feel complete with that, we are going to um, make our way onto our hands and knees. And if you want a blanket under your knees because you're on a hard surface, then go ahead and place it there. And I'm feeling warm already. I don't know about all of you. All right, so on our hands and knees, I want your wrists slightly in front of your shoulders, knees slightly behind the hips, index fingers pointing forward and a little space between your fingers. And then I want you to explore and connect with your abdominal muscles and with a flat back, you're gonna keep your arms straight and drop your chest towards the floor. The elbows are gonna to want to bend, but you're just trying to move the chest. So it's not a cat-cow kind of thing. You're just moving the chest up and down, keeping your elbows straight. Now, next time we're in a flat back space, you're gonna round your upper back and start to slide down with your exhale towards the child's pose. And then on the inhale, you're gonna walk your fingers up in your body and you're gonna drop your hips towards the floor. Okay. And soften those shoulders, keep your vision forward. So you know your head's in line with your body and then exhale back to that child's pose. And if it doesn't feel good to drop the hips forward, you might just come up to a tabletop line, right? So just inhaling up, exhaling down, noticing how your body feels as you move, softening those shoulders. Now, some of you may know this little pose that we're gonna add in here. So now we're gonna do a little puppy pose instead of child's pose. So the inhale, you drop your hips down and come to tabletop. Then as you come back, this time you're gonna keep your hips up Bring your head and chest towards the floor. So inhale, hips come towards the ground. Exhale, hips stay up towards the sky and you drop your head and shoulder towards the ground. And just notice the difference in those two poses when you come into child's pose or puppy pose. And if you prefer one or the other, then go ahead and stick with that one, right? What I feel when I move into puppy pose is I get more of a stretch in my shoulders. Now, next time you inhale up, let's come to a tabletop and let's stretch out your right leg and turn the toes under and reach your heel towards the ground. So hopefully get a nice stretch through your calf and you might move around through your foot. And then you're going to lift that leg up. So just notice right when we, it's kind of lifting a big part of our machinery, right? And then we're going to bend the knee, flex the foot, and press up towards the ceiling. And gently placing that knee on the ground, we're going to stretch out the left leg, turn the toes under, and then stretching the back of the leg. And you might find yourself, and I find myself, wanting to push away with my hands. And if that's what you want to do, go ahead and do that as you're stretching the back of the leg, move through the foot, or see what feels good here. And then we're going to lift up that whole lever, bend the knee, flex the foot, and pulse it up towards the ceiling. Still breathing. So now we're going to set that leg down. And I want you, and some of you will want to use some blocks here. You're going to see what feels good. But we're going to have your blocks on either side and you'll come to a kneeling position. And we're gonna stretch the left leg out. 
and you might have to move where your blocks are <laughs> once we figure out where our hands are going. So inhale is gonna be arms extended out to the side. Exhale, gently place that hand, left hand on the left leg, reach the right arm over, inhale up. Exhale, second side. Inhale up. Exhale, reach over. Inhale up. Exhale to the second side. And you're moving with your breath, no rush. Kind of started this movement at the very beginning of our practice, but now you're adding in, pressing in with the foot and stretching the whole side of the body. All right, now the next time that you come towards your leg, so we're gonna inhale up, exhale over, we're gonna stay here and you're gonna keep breathing. We're gonna turn that palm up and press like you're trying to lift the ceiling, keep breathing. Keep breathing, then turn that hand down, inhale up, exhale to the second side. And again, we're gonna stay over here, so I want you to press with that foot and you're reaching up, like you're really trying to grow and open up the side body. And again, we're gonna turn the palm up and press. Keep breathing. I know it doesn't look like very much work, and it is. Okay, we're gonna inhale up. And then let's bring in your left leg. We're gonna stretch out the right leg. We're gonna do the same thing on the second side and give yourself that same time that you did on the first side, right? So inhale is up, exhale towards the leg, inhale up, exhale to the left side. Just moving with your breath and not putting too much pressure or really no pressure on that knee as you over. Long, smooth breaths. Go with your long, smooth movements. Now, the next time we come towards the leg, again, this is where we're going to hold the position, but your breath is going to keep moving. And then you're going to turn the palm up and press like you're trying to lift ceiling up. Keep breathing, and then we're gonna inhale up, exhale to the left side, and again, really pressing into the ground with that foot. And, and notice when you press with your foot, like how it feels differently, if it feels differently in your body. Then you're gonna turn that palm up and press, continue to breathe. It would be really easy to hold our breath here, but you're gonna keep breathing. So again, we're gonna turn the palm down. Inhale up, bring in that knee. All right, and we're gonna have a block in front now, maybe. All right, so inhale, you're gonna take both arms up in line with your ears. Exhale, you're going to come towards child's pose, but we're gonna have the hands on the pelvis. And you might use the block, you might come to the floor. Inhale is up, exhale towards the floor. And again, you might have to adjust if you're using a block where that block is to work with your body. And one more time, inhale up, exhale down, and we're gonna stay in this down position but we're gonna walk the hands out off of our pelvis and you might slide your block out or you might wanna keep it there. And you're gonna reach your head towards the floor or the block and you're gonna make your way up onto your fingertips and reach your wrists up towards the sky. So fingertips on the ground, rest of the hand and wrist lifted towards the sky, still breathing. And then when you're ready, walking those hands towards your body, and we're going to step forward with your left foot and come into a modified lunge. And I want you to make sure that your back knee is behind your hip, so we're opening the front of that hip flexor. 
And again, if your knee is pokey, fold over your mat or put a blanket underneath your knee. Now I want you to turn those toes under on your back foot. And you could have your hands on the floor of the block. You're going to keep breathing. You're going to lift up that knee and then gently take it down. And it might that you might not put all your weight into the knee. So you're just going to lift up and down with the leg. And it feels best in my body when I just kind of tap the floor instead of putting all of my weight into it and lifting it. Now, next time your knee is lifted, I want you to feel your weight in that front foot, and we're gonna lift up the back leg. You might walk your blocks in front. So we're gonna attempt to have the leg parallel with the floor. And now I want you to see if you can have most of your weight in that front foot, right? So your hands, yes, they're on the floor, on the blocks, but your weight is in that front leg. You're pressing with your right foot like it's pressing into the wall. And now we're going to stretch out and only do this if it's safe. <laughs> we're going to stretch out the right arm and possibly turn your head to the left. What? <laughs> and then carefully bring that hand down. We're gonna step the right foot right next to the left. This makes it a brain game too, right? When you have to... All right, now you're gonna lift up your left leg, bend that right knee, and we're gonna come down into our modified lunge. So we're just switching sides. So again, you're making sure that the knee is behind the hip, so you're getting a nice little stretch in the front of the hip flexor. And then when you're ready, you're gonna turn the toes under and start to lift, and then again, bend that back knee. And your front knee is over the ankle, because that supports our knee. Keep breathing. Now, the next time that your leg is straight, this is where we're gonna start to lift that leg. <laughs> and it is a big deal lifting up that big leg, right? So weight in the right foot, lift up the left leg, walk your hands or your blocks forward, leg parallel to the ground, possibly flexed and pressing into the ground. Most of your weight in that right foot. And again, if it's safe, you're gonna to start to extend the left arm and turn your head to the right. Wait, do that. Is it supposed to be the other arm? Yeah, there it is. I'm like, what did I do last time? Okay, head comes back to the center, hand down, and then carefully place that left foot on the ground. We're going to take the hands onto the legs and inhale, slide all the way up. <sighs> And then once you're up, you're going to roll through those shoulders and you can do both at the same time or one or the other. I'm going to go close that door. But I left you all in a good place rolling your shoulders, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now would be a great time to find your tennis balls again. And we're going to roll through your foot. So a little bit of pressure or a lot of pressure, whatever feels good, rolling through the whole bottom of the foot. Arches, heel, the toes. Very addicting tennis balls and rolling your feet, for me anyway. Now, when you're ready, within the next couple of breaths, we're gonna to switch to the second foot. And this is one of those things that you can do throughout the day, right? It's a great pick-me-up for me. So again, we're going to come to a place where we stop rolling the tennis ball. 
For this next one, now you could come to a wall or use a chair or something like that. What we're going to do is you're going to reach for your right ankle and you want to keep <coughs> your thigh bone, bone pointing straight to the ground, right? So what, the reason I'm saying that, we're not bringing the knee out to the side. You're keeping it in line with your leg and then I want you to bring it front to back. Moving with your breath. Nice. Now, you're going to gently put that foot on the ground. And if your hand, I didn't say this earlier, but if your hand doesn't come to your ankle, you can use a strap there. Now you're going to do the second side, same thing. Reach for your ankle, knee, right next to your standing leg, and then you're moving it front to back. So for most of us, we get a little stretch in our front of our thigh here. Not everybody. Okay. Beautiful. We're going to let that foot go. And before we move on to the next step, I just want you to bring your hands onto your thighs. Inhale, body up. Exhale, slide down into a forward bend. And do that for three breaths. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale halfway up or all the way up. Whatever feels good. And one more time. When you're standing, we're going to reach for the right ankle again. And <laughs> yeah, you can just keep moving around. And possibly you're holding on to your ankle. You're going to take that knee slightly behind your standing leg and then start to make space between the heel and the buttock. Now, if it's comfortable for you, you're going to start to bring your heart towards the floor and extend your left arm. Nice. Keep breathing. And your chest is pointing towards the ground. There is a pose where we open our chest out, but right now it's pointing towards the ground. And then very carefully inhale, body up. Gently release that foot. Breathe. <laughs> and we're going to go to the second side. So again, reaching for your left ankle, knee slightly behind the standing leg, Starting to make space between your heel and your buttock. And if you can maintain that space, starting to bring your heart towards the ground, maybe extending your right arm. Keep breathing. And in your own time, on an inhale, slide on up. Gently release that foot to the floor. And then what I want you to do, we're going to, your feet are going to be about hip width apart. And you're going to take your arms back as if you were going to dive, right? D-I-V-E. <laughs> and inhale, you're going to lift those arms up. Exhale, you're going to bring them back. Inhale up. And your vision stays forward. You might have the desire to look up towards your hands, but I want you to keep your vision straight ahead. Inhale is up, exhale down. And you all know I, li I, I like to do this. It feels like slow-mo, you know, slow motion. All right, next time we're down in our squat, your arms are back, you're pressing, like you're holding a big beach ball or something, you know. So squeezing that beach ball with your hands, feet are on the ground. Now I want you to shift your weight into your toes and start to lift your heels if it's safe off the ground. Keep breathing. Gently shift those heels back. Press down with your feet. Inhale, reach up. And now let's hold on to the right wrist. Have your feet about hip width or a little bit wider apart. Reach over to the side. And don't pull too hard on your wrist, right? The stretch is here, so you're, I don't want you to yank your wrist too much. Inhale up, second side. Keep breathing. Inhale up, release. And I don't think we've done this one for a little while. So I'm going to give you some options. We're going to make like cacti. So option one would be to 
work with your elbows, forearms, and palms together. And let's do that for a couple breaths. Inhale, open, exhale, bring your hands together. Hands, elbows, forearms. Moving with your breath. Now, next time you're together in the center, you're going to reach those fingertips up, right? And so for most of us, it's a small movement. <laughs> so you're gonna reach up, pressing in towards the center and up. On an exhale, we're gonna release, shake them out a little bit. Now, next part, make like cacti. Right elbow to center, possibly left elbow over top. Backs of the hands or palms together, or you're going back to position one. Okay? Then you're going to carefully sit like you're sitting into a chair. Lower abdominals are engaged. You let your hips go a little bit. And let's take that, let's take the right, arm, right leg over top. Okay? So you're going to cross over top. That's switched. Now you could have your toes on the ground, you could have your foot lifted, you could have it wrapped around your calf. Depends how your body works. Okay? Keep breathing, eagle pose, guardi dasana. Feel what's happening in your shoulders and your breath and your vision. It's helpful to find a non-moving spot on the ground in front of you, even though your hands are in front of your face. On an inhale, we're going to release and exhale down. Yeah, let's roll through those shoulders. All right, now, before we move to the next side, I want you to have a comfortable stance, feet on the ground, maybe slight bend in the knees, chin towards the chest on the exhale. And with your head forward, now I want you to just gently inhale, lift the shoulders up, exhale, let them drop. You're keeping your chin towards the chest and just carefully moving through the shoulders. And the next time after your exhale, let's inhale, lift up the head. Make like cacti, we're gonna do the second side. Left elbow to center, right elbow over top, backs of the hands or palms together, lift those elbows up off your chest. You're gonna sit back. And you know who's going over top this time, it's that left leg, <laughs> right? So you're gonna, again, sit back first, engage your muscles so you know how you're supporting yourself, Cross that leg over, you're crossing at the knee. Toes can be on the ground, lifted or wrapped around the calf. Keep breathing. Long, smooth breaths. You have your drishti, your non-moving spot that you're looking at. When you're ready to release on an inhale, you're gonna extend limbs, exhale down, roll through those shoulders. That felt kind of good. It is a little bit warm. Like I can feel some moisture on yeah. my neck. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, one more I want to do with the arms, because you probably can tell it, it, our, our head and neck get involved in our shoulders in these movements. So we're gonna bring the elbows up with the fingers pointing down, right? And then what I want you to do, feet comfortable distance apart, we're going to inhale, fingers up. So it's as if we could keep our upper arm stable, exhale down. So you're just trying to isolate moving through the arms. And yes, there's probably going to be some movement of the upper arm. It's all connected. Next time your fingers are pointing up, you're gonna reach over and find a block. And we're gonna take that block between our hands and extend those arms out in line with your shoulders. For those of you who lift weights, this is gonna be really easy. <laughs> so inhale with the arms extended. Exhale again, trying to keep that upper arm where it is. You're gonna bring the block in towards the head, do not block yourself. And you're creating your own resistance by pressing in on the block. So I could make this really challenging, or I could keep it really easy, depending on how much pressure I put 
on the block. And you're moving slowly. Inhale as you extend. Exhale as the block comes in. Beautiful. Next time the arms are extended, and if you need to take a break, take a break. You're going to hold that block, and you're going to carefully shift over to the right. Inhale, center. Shift to the left. Your eyes follow the block. One more time. And when you get back to the center, you can put that block down. You're probably ready to go now. And one more time, let's, um, let's interlace the fingers. We haven't done this before, but if you're going to roll through the wrists, and you'll go a couple of times in one direction, stop, a couple of times in the other direction. And it might not feel like they're rolling. Now let's stretch out your right arm. We're going to take the left hand in between the elbow and the shoulder and carefully bring that arm across the body. Come back through the center and down. And let's do the second side. Keep breathing. I can't see the clock. <laughs> okay. Relax, and when you get back to the center, we're going to roll through the shoulders. I'm trying to think if there's other body parts that we're missing. I think we're doing good. Let's find a strap. We're going to do one more thing standing up, and then we're going to come down to the ground. And I'm going to give you a, a couple of different options, because that's how I roll. So option one is you have your right foot on a block. Option two is you're holding on to the knee with your hand. And option three is that you have the strap and your leg is extended. And you could, if you're used to doing it without a strap, do it that way as well. Okay? So you decide, I gave you four options, which one sounds best to you. And I think I'll do the bent knee one. Okay. And but you choose, like you do what works for you. So left foot on the ground, right leg, your knee comes up. Your other arm is wherever it helps you balance, right? Now we're going to slowly open out to the side. Keep breathing. Back to the center. Now you're going to switch hands, okay? Woo, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> wow, that hasn't happened in a long time. Okay. And then <clears throat> that leg is going to come across your body. Woo! Wow, that's not happening for me today. Come back to the center and down. That was interesting. All right, keep breathing. Shake it off, Jacqueline. <laughs> Second side. So again, bent knee, straight leg, strap, no strap. Other arm helps you balance. Open out to the side very slowly. Keep breathing. And we're going to come back to the center, switch hands, and again, bring that leg or knee across the body. Come back to the center, down, you get rid of your strap for a moment. We're going to inhale up, exhale, slide down into your forward bend, and you're going to walk your feet wide. And so you could have your hands on the floor or on a block. Again, we're going to keep the elbows straight. Inhale, straight legs. Exhale, bend the knees, take your hips towards the ground. Inhale up, exhale down. Elbows stay straight. You're only moving through ankles, knees, and hips. Well, not only, but beautiful. Now, from here, we're going to make our way down to the ground and come through a squat. So I want you to get into a squat. You could have a blanket under your heels or a block under your butt. Hands at the forehead or the heart center. A gentle roundedness in the back body here. Feeling your feet on the ground and any tension in your body, just inviting it to roll down your back like, you know, a duck in the water into the earth.
And when you're ready to come down, you're going to release your hands and safely get yourself down onto the ground. And we're going to extend the right leg. You're going to bring your left leg in. We do this often, so you're probably used to it. So left foot is flexed and you're holding on to the ankle and the knee and gently moving that leg side to side. Now we're going to turn the bottom of that foot forward. I'll turn to the side for a moment. <clears throat> now you could use a strap here and straighten that leg. You could use your hands and straighten that leg. We're going to do our best to straighten. And notice your body wants to drop back. We're going to try to keep it upright and extend the leg. Keep breathing. Now you're going to bend your knee and you're going to reach it like you're trying to take it out to the side, right? Like behind your shoulder. And keep breathing. And notice what's happening. Like you feel it in your back, in your hip, in your leg. And then very carefully, we're going to place that foot down on the ground. And we'll bring up the second leg and start to drop. And you're still breathing and you might need, you know, a little bit more time than, than what we're taking here. So know that you know, you can keep going if you need to. Now again, when you're done rocking, you're going to turn that foot forward. Maybe take your strap onto the padded part of your foot and extend it, or holding onto your foot, extend it, and just find a way that it works for you. But again, watch the body wanting to Drop back, keep your body upright as much as you can. We want to be somewhat stable here, right? Long, smooth breaths. In your own time, when you're ready, we're going to bend that knee and start to reach it behind the shoulder. There are lots of fancy things we could do from here, but we're not going to go there today. Maybe next time. Okay, and then carefully releasing, and we're going to gently make your way onto your back body, right? So making sure that you're safe. And then as you get on your back body, let's have our knees bent with the ankles and the knees touching arms at the sides. We inhale. It's going to be the knees open out, bottoms of the feet come together, arms come overhead. Exhale, knees come together, arms come down to the sides. Moving at the pace of your breath, inhale, open the knees, arms overhead. Exhale, knees together, arms come down. No brush. Noticing all the wonderful sensations in your breath and your body as you're moving. Let's do this two more times. Now, when you come back to the center, your knees are together and the arms are down. We're going to cross the right ankle over the left hip. If possible, you're going to keep that right foot flexed. Your arms are out to the side like a T to help support you. And then you need to engage your core because we're going to lift that left foot off of the ground. And so now isometrically, thigh into ankle, ankle into thigh. And you can feel your abdominal muscles helping you be in this position, right? If that doesn't work for your body, you can keep the left foot on the ground. And you could also have your hands on your legs helping you to pull the legs up. Keep breathing, and then using the muscles of your leg, you're pressing that right knee away from the body. Continue to breathe. Now very carefully, when you're ready, we're going to place that left foot on the ground. 
and you still have the right ankle over the left thigh. Now the inhale is going to be legs pointing up towards the sky. Exhale, you're gonna reach that right foot towards the left side of the body. Inhale, knee comes up, so your left foot is on the ground. And you're going to inhale with the legs as they are, and then exhale, reach your right foot towards the left side. Yes, that way. Now, it's not gonna hurt you to do it the other way. Either. Some people like to go back and forth. Moving with your breath one more time. Now, when you come up this next time, you're going to carefully uncross, pause for a moment, and then cross your left ankle over the right thigh, press your hands into the ground, engage your core muscles as you lift up that right foot and start to press right thigh into left ankle, left ankle into right thigh. So a lot of isometrics happening here. And you're also pressing with your muscles, not your hands, your left knee away from the body. Still breathing. And again, in your own time, placing that right foot on the ground. Inhale with your legs as they are. Exhale, reaching that left foot towards the floor, towards the right side of the body. And it doesn't matter if it touches the floor, you're just reaching over to the right side with that foot. And next time we come through the center, going to carefully uncross and let's bring those knees in towards the body, hug them in. You can take them in a circular motion. If you do so, go a couple times in each direction. And this is the time where I want you to check in with your body. What do you need in order to be able to settle and relax into your Shavasana, right? So, you're gonna check in with your body. What do I need right now? And then you're gonna do that. Or if you're ready for Shavasana, you are going to get yourself set up. And in Shavasana, you want to, however you decide to be, you know, legs elevated, a little support under your neck or your hips, you want to be as comfortable as you can be so that you can move to a quiet place. smooth breaths. Eventually coming into a place where you can settle into the earth, letting yourself be completely supported. Have you done that before? Mm -hmm. I'm coming to help you. So relaxing your shavasana.
time when you start to bring your awareness back into your body, to breath. Thinking about how you will ever so gently start to bring your back, your, yourself back. And what sort of movements will feel really good in your body then? In your own time, you can be aware of that breathing, breathing, and those of you who've been on walks in here, you might want to take a little gentle forward bend or bring your knees in towards your body or coming up to your seated position. So eventually, when you are up, you might want to take a little gentle roll through your body, a couple of times in each direction. You might want to take a little twist, seeing what Sounds really good to you at this moment. And eventually, let's um, bring our hands together at the heart center with your thumbs resting on your sternum, fingertips touching but with a space between your palms. And as you breathe in, I want you to imagine that you're bringing your life force into that space between your hands. to take that energy that's built up between your hands and press it into your heart. And nice big inhale and let's do an OM together. Oh. about how you're going to take this quiet place that you're in out into the world and honoring yourself for showing up and doing the practice. Thank you. Namaste.